Good morning, afternoon, or evening. Wherever you are around the world, we just want to remind you, you have greatness inside of you. Welcome back to another pre-game at Montreal Bleu Blanc Rouge. Today, they play in Seattle at 10 o'clock Eastern Time, p.m. So it's going to be a late night for you to watch your Bleu Blanc Rouge. Don't go nowhere. We're going to talk about all the information you need to know for the game tonight between the Kraken and the Montreal Canadiens. But before we start, we invite you, please don't forget to subscribe, to click on the likes, and finally, tell us or give us your comment about the game between the Bleu Blanc Rouge and, of course, the Kraken. So let's dive in and talking about what's going to happen today. But first, we need to talk about their stats. Uh, and uh, there we go. Montreal is 1-5-0. The Seattle are 1-4-1. One, one. Honestly, Montreal lost uh, the ball game they play on the road. At home, the Seattle are 0 1 0. They opened up last Saturday against the Vancouver Canucks. So the power play, both teams struggle a little bit. And Montreal, of course, they are uh, 31 in NHL at 8.7. The Seattle are 17.7, 20 second uh, in NHL. Not too bad. Penalty kill, uh, again, good for the for the Seattle. They are 85.7, 10 in NHL. Montreal almost at the end again for 57.7. So both teams are um, on the front way to, to play the special team, to be honest with you. The goal, both teams struggle. Montreal is 32 in NHL, 27 for the Seattle Kraken. And the same way for the goal again, Montreal 22nd and 28 for the Kraken. The shot four, both them do not shoot the puck enough. On the net, 27, Montreal 30 and uh, Seattle. And finally, the shot again, both of them are pretty good. Ford in NHL, the Kraken, and eight for the Montreal Canadiens. Uh, the leader for both teams, uh, first of all, the most points, Jonathan Drouin with five. Most goal is uh, Mathieu Perrault at three. And the uh, win, uh, Jake Allen have the only win for them, for the Montreal. And finally, a TOI is Jeff Petrie still at 23-53. For the Kraken, uh, Jared McCann have a great start with six points. Uh, Brendan Danev and McCann have also three goals for the team. Philip Grober have the only one registered a W for the team. And finally, Yannick Gord had the most TOI at 22 minutes and 14 seconds. Uh, the shopping up, we do all the time. Montreal 1 5 0, Kraken 1 4 1. The game starts at 10 o'clock at Seattle. We're going to be live, a pregame show at 9 o'clock p.m. Montreal away are 0 2 0 at home 1 3 0. The goaltender, we expect Allen versus Grober. Uh, the last five game, Montreal is 1 4 0 with a 9 goal for 18 again for its differential of minus 9. The power play can still struggle 2 and 19. And also the PK struggle in 8 and 18. Allen so far is 140 at 2.65 and a save percentage on 905. The last five games at Peru have four points. Peru have three goals, three have three assists. And Nuku is a plus three. Uh, let's talk about the strategy and the next few minutes. But I want to mention to you, Montreal have to be better on special team. And the player you have to watch for the Seattle Kraken guys is, uh, of course, Gord, McCann, Joe Dano, uh, Eberle, and, of course, Vince Dunn on power play. Here we go. What do you need to know for the French corner for the game number seven between the Bleu Blanc Rouge, the Montreal Canadiens versus Seattle Kraken? First of all, only one change. We expect Jake Evan is out and Cedric Paquette is in. It's going to be uh, between uh, play center of the four line. The play, they should play 60 minutes like they did la last game. They have to be sure they play every single shift. They cannot take a, take a break at some time like they did earlier. So it's really important for them to keep the momentum of the W they got against the Detroit Red Wings. So, and also a better cap control. What are you talking about? The defensemen have, have to be sure they have a great cap control and a neutral zone and also a little bit uh, after the blue line on the defensive side. The special team, they have to get better. We see like a couple of better, a little bit better for the Montreal Canadiens on the entrance, but still, I believe for the special team, it's more on the PK. They have to be more aggressive. They have to protect better their, school, their, their box and also their line for their stick. They have to be aggressive, chase the puck and hit complete 
the check and then come back rapidly in front of the net. Uh, the power play need to move the puck faster. When they are set up the the power play on the offensive side, the puck have to move from one side to another side when they do the the umbrella. That's very important. I like the entrance last game. They come like a formation T. So that's a good thing about that. Now the bit the back to the basic shot to the net, crash to the net, go get for the rebound. And I think they missed too much, too many times the net at some point. Finally, the chemistry between the defenseman and the forward have to stay again, be better. And of course, for me, the break out on the middle of the ice, not on the board. That's something they need to get better and to improve uh, with time. Uh, listen, the head to head for the goaltender, we expect Philip Grober versus Jake Allen. Grober is 1 3 and 1, 3.80. And the save percentage, 8, 6, 9. That's not a great number, a grubber. For the Montreal Canadiens, 1, 4, 0, 2.65. And the save percentage on 9, 0, 4. Since the beginning of the year for Jake Allen. This is the, for, the, the roster for the Montreal Canadiens. I make a mistake. It's not the Red Wings, but is the Kraken. I apologize. The only change is Parquet at the bottom. The, the same lineup for the rest for the Montreal Canadiens. You can see the line with Gallagher, Zizki, Hoffman, Drouin, Devorek, Anderson. Of course, Tufoli, Peru, and Carfield. Peru have a great game between with them with a, a, a hat trick uh, the last game. For the power play unit, the same formation, both PP1, PP2. Penalty kill, we put Evans there, but it's going to be Parquet. Uh, with Likonen and Armia with Devarek. And finally, I want to mention for the roster for the Kraken. Again, I apologize. The top, I, I forgot to change Canadian Red Wings. A Canadian Kraken. A good play between a Schwartz and Jar Kruk. Iberli play with Wenberg and McCann. This is a solid line for them. Then they have uh, Kiki and Donskui. Donskui have a, maybe the most uh, consistent player so far, and Sheehan play with Appleton. Uh, Jordano play with Olysiak, Larson, Lozon, Susie, and Dunn. They have a great defenseman uh, for me, um, I believe, in the NHL. Uh, and finally, the power play, you can see that. I don't want to go name by name, but you can see, pause the video, you're going to see that. And finally, I want to invite you. In the next game is Thursday night. The Montreal Canadiens is going to be in San Jose. Uh, the game starts at 10 o'clock, and we're going to be live stream at 9 o'clock pregame show between both teams. We know the Montreal Canadiens lost again. Uh, the Sharks by a score of 5-0 the last time in Montreal. Uh, so, guys, this is the game for tonight between the Montreal Canadiens and the Seattle Kraken. Don't forget, we're going to be live stream tonight at 9 o'clock p.m. Uh, we're going to talk about the Montreal Canadiens, all the news in the NHL, and be ready for the game and when the puck drop. And finally, before we leave, we want to remind you, of course, you have greatness inside of you. Don't forget to subscribe, click on the likes, and also give you your comments about the game, your prediction, who's going to win tonight. Hopefully, Montreal Canadiens win tonight 3-2. to two. Thanks again for watching another great video of the Hockey Nation Show with the host, Code Frenchy. I look forward to see you for the next video with the coach. Bonne journée, mes amis. On se revoit plus tard. Je vous attends pour la partie entre le Montréal et Seattle ce soir. Sinon, je vous revois aux prochaines vidéos avec l'entraîneur, coach Frenchy. Bonne journée, mes amis. <musique>